have a lot of face rotation, a lot of hands and arms. Who are you working with swing-wise? I'm not. Actually, so I was going to ask you. is because I have, I, well, so I have a buddy at Jupiter Hills in Florida, Jason Bale. I grew up playing with him. Um, he's a top 100 now. He just doesn't have time for me. Yeah. And so um, I've asked him to try to help me find someone around here. Uh, I was wondering if you had anyone in mind, but basically last year I went to see Jason and the only thing that we worked on... And you're open to doing it over the phone? Yeah, literally not, we didn't try, we didn't touch a single thing relative to mechanics. It was only set up. He put me on a K-Vest. That's what I'm trying to find around here is a K-Vest. He put me on a K-Vest, which what it allowed me to do was when I had the body line square and, and stacked in the right spot, it played a noise. And so the setup was the issue. We got the setup right and I played my best golf for about a month after that. I lost the setup position. I haven't found it again in the last okay. 10 months. Okay. And that was mostly a little bit of left bend, a little bit of left tilt this way, um, and just making sure that I don't collapse from the top down. Which is why you're playing longer in the in the shafts. You got a lot going on. Yeah. There's a golf shot. Yeah, a lot going on. And this is the fun part. I've been playing plus golf from some pretty shit positions. Yeah, you, so you've got a lot I, going on. Yeah, I, I just need someone to work with. Then I can be like, hey, I want to see you once a month or, tw or one, twice every two weeks or something, you know, that can get me on, hey, just fundamentals. Like, just every day, let's check the alignment. Let's, you know, know that we're working on the right thing. So talk to me about this. Like, yeah. what, what's this all about? Like, That's why? It's because my right. Uh, right foot strap back. Yeah, but why do you want it? Well, you said you I get don't injured. Want it. So why can't you just stand? I can. And then, because this, if you're aiming that far right, you're gonna be handsy. I, I, these clubs are so long. I understand, and I've never had the luxury of being as tall as you, but yep, yep, yep. they are so long. You've also worked with a million players. Never I've seen never seen like anything this, so as long as this. How the right. hell do you chip with I, this? I, I, I mean. Okay, that's better. So hit me a fade. Let's hit some fades. I mean, that's a beautiful strike and an awesome golf shot. Yep. Yep, yep. Now you asked me about the clubs earlier, so you got a seven iron in your hand. Yep. You launched it, let's say what's loft, 35? Uh, I don't know, it's standard, yeah. Yeah, 35. So it's launched at 16, so that shows great, and it's spun at 8,300 for a cut. Okay. 7,500 would be a straight ball, 7,000 would be a draw. If you're Tiger or Colin, you're in love with that. So hit us a straight golf shot now. Okay. That right there is really good. 16.18300. That's a beautiful strike. Straight ball, 16.6. I will say this, I don't hit these very far. But that's but I don't care. awesome. I don't care. You don't want a player of your 7700. Yeah, a player of your level so doesn't so want to hit. The this is correct. So this is correct. It just gets funky down here. I don't understand how you can chip with a wedge that's this long. Now, yeah. obviously you have opinions on your golf swing. We've done nothing so far but talk about like opinions. Yeah. Me as a fitter, yeah. I've got to respect that. Do I think that club is a little long? Yes. What's worried me? Yeah. You've said you're tight in here and you've said you've got an issue with your back. So I understand that. Yeah. Those last two shots that we've seen, yep. there is nothing wrong with that. Right. If Tiger Woods was here now, he would be frothing at how much spin you've put on those two golf balls. Okay. Because if you've got backspin, you can bring it closer to the flag. Yep. What's worried me is you said you're quite handsy. Yep. I didn't like how flappy the first few were, but right. if we look at the dispersion out there, it's good. And that's what we have to stay yep. connected with. Yep. So I'm gonna let you overrule on that. The one thing I've seen that I hate yep. is the light swing weights in the woods. Yep. But again, if you can do this and get numbers like this, mm -hmm. it's a little bit spinny, okay. but you are using a 95 gram shaft. It's 80. Yeah. yeah, 80, I thought they were 95s. Oh, they're, so they're, you are yeah, using yeah. very light. We had to go to the 80 because I got the 95. Because the dead weights were too heavy. And I was like, I couldn't swing it, it was too heavy. So we went to the 80s instead. Okay. So it's always going to be a little bit spinny. And the ball flight strikes that, me a little higher than I'm used to, but I love That's it. why it's not going very far. Yeah, Playing in America, though, you're good with that. Yeah, and you've got enough good. speed. Yeah, I'm fine All right. Hit us a uh, longer iron, then. Right. Do you see a jump? Hit me to five, and then we'll go to the four, because I'd be interested to see the jump up in the yardage okay. between the two irons. 
So again, let's talk about the shot. Let's play it as if we're playing rather than play it as if we're hitting balls. Okay. Yeah, what, uh, what do you want to say? Well, I want to, obviously it's beautiful wind conditions, so just hit me a straight or a little draw. But right. try, I'd like to see you try and neutralize standing to this golf ball. So that's set up a little open. Okay, now you set up square, that's good. That's square? Yeah, square enough. It's set up perfectly for a draw. And I think that shot there is a result of setting up too far right. Now, I know you've only hit seven or eight balls. It's still early in the morning, but. Yep. You wanna work with me, I'll pay you. So 5,900 spin rate, 10 launch. So the launch is too low, because the club's gonna have 25 degrees loft on it. So let's launch it a bit higher. Better pass. There you go. Good golf shot. Yep. Good golf shot. So that it's one's a, a good. Left of our target, so ah, it's acceptable though. So let's say the club's got 25 degrees of loft on it, which we'll measure in a minute. It's come out still low okay. and it's spun at 6,000. It's a spinny golf shot. Okay. But again, spinny is acceptable. What you're doing is you're squeezing too steep on it, which is why you're using 10.5 in the driver. Everything you're doing is trappy, but for iron play, uh -huh. that's a beautiful fight. That thing's coming down so, so soft. Yeah. There's the four. Okay. So let's just give ourselves a number to look at here. So that was 11 launch, 6,000 spin, beautiful. Just so you know, I think the four is a little bit different in swing weight only because we go from the MC to the 770. Okay. So I think this one's a little heavier. So we've hit three golf shots, yep. 200, you're 199, 201, 200. I in, fly that thing that far. It's into breeze, that's yeah. normalized. If I take normalized off, it's only 185 because it's into breeze. Yeah. So let's have a look at the four because my worry is you're gonna see a big jump between MC and 770. Yeah, when we were first hitting this thing in the launch monitor, the problem, the, the issue that the fitter was having was like, your, your smash factor is too high with this thing. You're just going to nuke it. But I don't really have that problem. What's going to happen here is you're going to spin it less. Yep. And that's what the guy's trying to say. I wouldn't refer to smash on an iron, but what he's trying to say, because of the design of that 770, yeah. that one was low out the blade, right? No, that was fine. You hit that good. Yeah, that's fine. Because you spun that at 5,700. You should be spinning that a little less. Okay. And it only went 202, total 211. So don't crunch it, just... Do you turn this right toe out because your hip? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, trust me, the, that stuff is stuff that I'm all right now just kind of getting started to really address. Um, I've talked about it before. But I've kind of been in positions where I was like, you know, I'm not ready to make that big of a change. I got, I'm got playing golf every week, basically. And now I'm like, it, I just want to tear it down and start over. So you've got the winter now to really put a bit of graft in. Yeah, yeah like I, I really... Because here's what I see, right? Yep. You've got the ball, don't move. You've got the ball position Too far back. way back. Way back, yep. Way back. Way back. Which is why it's so steep. And then I'm over here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But you're consistent. And I think you've been putting band-aids on this. Correct. Which is I what, I've been playing scratch golf from bad positions. There's nothing wrong with that four iron, by the Perfect. way. It matches in pretty good. Perfect. So my question to you would be, like, we're doing a fitting at the end of the season. Yep. My question would be, do you want to talk more and more on technique or do you want to actually dial in these clubs? Because Both. why is there no three iron? That's uh, dialed back a little bit. So you've dialed this back a bit. Yep. So... The thing is here from what I see, and it's, it's becoming glaringly obvious before we even hit this, Numbers, yeah. ball's too far back, yep. aim too far right, steep, steep pulling everything online. Yep. That's why you're playing stuff that's gonna launch low and spin high, and you're hitting it straight because you're putting band-aids on it because you're playing golf. Yep. So this fit is pretty much done. You need to move your body back more, you need to stand squarer, you need to get shallower, and you need to feel hitting it right and drawing it back. Much the same as 95% of the fits I've done since I've not been on tour. Yep. Then we could put you into less loft, which will give you more speed. I'd love to put you in something stronger in the tip section, which guess what? Goes back to just a Ventus, blue, done. Yeah. And then you'll get your dispersion. But it only comes with, if you want to change it all at the same time, it yeah. comes with ball position going forward, yeah. changing those attack angles, and this, this is done. Okay. I, I mean, we'll see it, yeah. and I'll look at it, but I've just told you what the future is, and I'm, I'm no mystic uh, freaking Meg. Clear. It's like, we don't need to mess with all this. But I want to see it. Until this is correct. Right? Yeah, but I just think the mess with that is stronger loft, stronger shaft. Yeah. You're going to have speed. Right. You definitely have consistency. I, but I you're relying on your 
iron play, which credit to you, you've found a setup that works. <laughs> yeah. You've botched it, but you've yeah. found it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I can tell you've botched it. Look at yeah. the freaking ferals on those things. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of baby blue on the that's ferals, that ain't my jam. <laughs> that's, my, that's the only jam I got. Um, yeah, so I mean, you, you nail on the head, right? Which is I've, I've Frankenstein monstered my way into what now works. You must be a great iron player. Your whole golf game has to be built. Anyone who's that spinny means they can hit a lot of good iron shots. Especially long irons, right? 100%. Yeah.